got a great show tonight, and we're talking about Psycho Simpson and the manager, the beautiful Miss Marty Delore. Captain? Oh, this is this is going to be the match of the year, let me tell you. This crazy man, Psycho Simpson, I saw him somewhere in the capital city with his medication bottle. They let him out, I think, on a three-day pass. Well, Captain, that's your observation. But also today, associated with the Capital Peaks Bar Wrestling, and we're talking about in the audio booth, is Papadon, the president, the headman of the MOB. Papadon? Pleasure's all yours, George, of course, as always. But as I'm watching this, sh this match right now, you know, these two guys, I hate both of them. Well, you know, Papadon, it's just not very many people that you like. But we're wondering what the heck is going on with, Ken, with uh, Psycho right there. Captain, do you see what he's doing? He's, well, he's kind of looking around, but I don't know what Papadon could see in this uh, man. I mean, he's illusional, <laughs> and he, he's on great medication. He's going through trash cans or whatever. What is he right. looking for? I think he's looking for his next Ooh. meal. He's looking for his next <laughs> meal. He just threw a diaper, I think, into the ring. That, Pre that just shows how much of an idiot he is. Well, Precious Paul Powers is looking on exactly what this whole thing's about. And I, oh, it is a diaper, Captain. It, it, it can't be a loaded diaper, you think? <laughs> Look at Paul run out of there. And Miss Lexus, the uh, manager's out there. We're also Paul DeMarco. Ooh, just a minute. The odor is so gross, I'm going to back up. <laughs> this you is, can smell this one. This is for the, the birds. Well, then I told the public we got Papadon here. And Papadon, what do you think about You know, that? he thinks he's back home. Obviously, and just look what he's doing. He's an idiot. Oh, no, he's no, a no. retard. He needs mental help. He shouldn't even be in the ring, George. He's tasted it. I don't believe what he did. George. Whatever it was in that diaper, it looked green and stinky and sticky. <laughs> Well, uh, you folks have your own point of view. The way we're seeing it, we can't believe Psycho Simpson did this from the Austin State Hospital. And I'll tell you, I don't know if he's a weekend pass or what. Well, he isn't a weekend pass, but the audience, I'm so embarrassed for the audience. I've never seen anybody eat a human diaper and make it taste good, and he liked it. <laughs> well, the beautiful Marty Delore is asking, which is the manager's asking Psycho, put it down, let's get to wrestle. Stop this. Stop this nonsense. And you know, Marty Delore can't even do her hair in the morning, much less take care of this no, man. Don't start right now, Cap, uh, you Papa Don, because you're getting total mixed up right now. Every time you're in a in our audio booth or wrestling match, you really rile us, and I don't understand what you're saying to these darn great wrestlers. Cap? Well, I think that uh, Psycho Simpson has a very beautiful manager. Matter of fact, I think she's an ex-physician, ex-doctor uh, from where but, but poor Psycho Simpson came from that hospital. Well, there he is, Precious Paul Powers and Ms. Lexus, right to his right-hand side, along as the manager. And we're looking at Psycho right now, right getting to the, getting right there in his corner. And Chato, the referee, and this is good for a 15-minute match, time-minute match. You know, George, you have two men here who obviously need help, both mentally, emotionally, spiritually. <laughs> I mean, look at this man. Look at him, both of them. You got you got Marty Delore, who can't even do her hair in the morning. You got Lexus, who's a used car. Oh, I mean, please. just look at these. Look at these yeah, clowns. Don't call these women used cars or whatever. That's not right. That's not fair. I don't know what what box they found you out of, but that's not absolutely fair. Yeah, because you know what I gather. Psycho Simpson really never seen a real referee, and when he threw his legs up on his shoulder, he thought he was a ballerina. But he don't know it's that medication kicking in. Okay, the bell is sounded, and we're ready to go. And I'll tell you, the chop of the referee. Oh, look. Look at Psycho, he's not leaping around like a dog. He's barking, he's doing every kind of trick there is. Well, in, in the state hospital, from what I found out, when they had him in seclusion, he used to get on all fours and bark at the wall and bark at the moon. We got to talk to Psycho Simpson along with Marty Delore once in an interview. And I'll tell you, this guy has it kind of together. Look at him flip over. Whoa! Did you see that? And, of course, Precious Paul trying to play the off, little by little. You know, Precious Paul can't even figure out his own shoelaces. Let's, oh. let's figure out this man here. This man is unpredictable. This man is dangerous. And I'm going to go to the commission and report this. Well, Marty Delore is holding that little doll, his little manager he's calling, Bolio, that little doll. You know, a lot of the kids and the fans really like that because he's got a sensitivity. Because of his wrestling ability, that psycho system has a natural act of love and natural things. And that little doll that Marty's carrying is something cute. Well, that little doll is the only thing he had as a pastime in his padded cell at that hospital. Did you see that? And you know what else I noticed? You know what else I saw in Psycho Simpson when he come close to our table? Uh -huh. I saw a diaper rash on his face. <laughs> I can't believe that, Captain. But right now, Precious Paul is taking advantage of Psycho Simpson with his strength. You know, you're not supposed to take Precious Paul powers lightly. I can tell you that. I've seen a man wrestle across Texas. 
And Psycho Simpson's got his hands cut. I'm got his hand cut out tonight for this man. That's right. And right now you see Marty Delore with that little doll, Bolio. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? But Psycho Simpson has an unorthodox way of wrestling. Again, he got pushed down by Precious Paul Powers. And look at this lecture just laid it on. Yeah, did you did you guys just witness what Psycho Simpson just did? He threw that diaper on my table, and I had to put it in the trash can. The odor was so gross, it was worse than the whole audience put together. Yeah, the people are listening to us, uh, you know, through the television. And right now we apologize about that, but evidently we know that uh, Precious Paul Powers and Psycho Simpson are in for a 15-minute time of the minute. You know, Captain Save, I wouldn't doubt that diaper belonged to him. Again, a big... Oh, he's taking him down, and that's one, two... Just a two count. He just barely got hold of it and could have won the match. Yeah, well, Cycle Simpson was telling me in the dressing room that he had to take speech all over again, and he said this precious Paul reminded him of a doctor that he once threw through the recycle war. <laughs> Well, Captain, these stories, I halfway believe them about Tiger Simpson. He really is a nice guy. Oh, he's got him with, oh, a gorilla press above and slam Psycho Simpson down. I know Psycho Simpson felt that one. This man is not to be taken lightly, George. Big leg right across the face of Psycho Simpson. Look at the poor guy. But everybody seems to love Psycho Simpson, Captain. Well, yes, well, he and his opponent, Precious Paul. Look at Precious Paul. Body going to slam him. Gorilla press and boom. Boy, I would have broken my back, Captain. Well, That's I it. heard such a noise, I heard the medicine come out of him at another end. Another big leg break, and I'll tell you, I don't know, uh, Mr. MLB President. Look, another, he's got, he's, uh -oh. look at him slug him. That's I'll it. tell you, we went crazy. Marty DeLore was holding up the, the little dog. Look at him chop. Chop Princess Paul right across the chest again. Hurls him to the rope and to the corner and leaps across him. Look at that. The crowd is loving it. They're just going crazy about this. Holds him. Pins him down, throws him to the floor, and again and again, Psycho Simpson, after seeing his little dog Bolillo, got him in reverse chin lock now, trying to cut off his win, but Chaco the referee says, no, it's legal. Well, you're right. Well, Bolillo was, was his bed partner, I mean his room partner, <laughs> in the state hospital for years, and Bolillo is his love of his life. That's the little woman he's never had and he's always wanted. I think so, and I love his wrestling. What do you think, Papa? They're both idiots, George. No, it's what you think. You have your own guys like Ray Crane and... Oh, you trying to lift him up for a hip toss? No. Lift them. Reverse. Look at the spin. And oh, down goes with the blow. I'll right. tell you what, that's mistiming. Oh. He should have paid attention on that move. Never give that much power or give that much time to a man like Precious Paul. He'll cut your head off like that. Well, you do you do know that cycle symptom. Under that medication he's under from the that hospital he's from, evidently can't think like a normal person. That's why well, you're right, he Captain. relates to the doll. The doll is his memory bank. Precious Paul is asking my referee to ask if he wants to give it up. Oh! And he trips him up, crosses his leg, flips over, holds on to him, down to with a reverse chin lock or a foot face lock as we see. Down to the floor, and we're asking the referee, Chapo, is asking him if he want to give it up and Precious Paul says, You know, it's going to take more than a front face lock to beat Precious Paul Powers in this match. Psycho Simpson's got his hands, got his hand cut out again. I can't, George, I cannot just stop saying that because when I see this man, how unorthodox he is. You know, that right there can affect you in a wrestling match. Well, that's right. And you being one of the challengers for the heavyweight title, Richard Paul feels that he was him that should have been challenging uh, the night right for that heavyweight title, not you. It, it doesn't matter who it is. You know, Precious Paul hasn't done anything to deserve a title shot like me. How long is, you know, I've been around here too long. I deserve a title shot. Now look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's reminiscing back when he was a kid. Oh, please. Marty well, Lord just handed him the doll. Right, right. That's, that's the doll that he got awarded when he entered that cycle asylum, asylum. And you know that doll is loaded with medication. And he oh, does Captain. have the best manager. I don't know who he has the best that. female <laughs> manager in Texas. I can tell by Captain looking at her. But I don't know about medication. Once again, a big knee right into Precious Paul's abdomen. And right now we're seeing Precious Paul on the receiving end. Woo! Just squashed him straight oh, down. That had to oh, hurt. Oh, he I thought he was in the restroom. I can't, can't, uh, He's never jumped like Papa that in the restroom. Can't you look at that? He took the doll. I mean, uh, Steve DeMarco, the bodyguard for Precious Paul, has got that doll, waving it around, taking it around. Now he gave it to Lexus. Lexus got that doll. Can you believe that, Captain? Well, uh, Lexus feels honored in stealing the poor Psycho Man's doll. Big now. suplex and down goes Psycho Simpson. And I mean, he is down. Precious Paul is looking the situation over. Lexus still has a doll. Marty Delore is starting to chase him. Now, Precious Paul has a doll. Look, he throws it up. 
kicks him with the knee right into the abdomen. Oh, DDT, and look at it flip. That was his downfall right oh, there, no, trying to no, save the no, doll, no, and look what it got him right the there. Count of three. It is pretty much. Oh over. my that's gosh, that's it. Lexa just harangued her, her man, Precious Paul, as the winner, the victor of this match. I can't believe what he did. Put well, for Psycho up. Simpson, that doll is the love of his life. Oh, look at that. Look what happened. They're both knocked out. You the know, doll ain't even moving. You know what, Captain Safety? I even heard him call that doll mom one day. Lexus comes in, and your winner, of course, is Precious Paul Powers. And what yeah, but defeat. look how oh, these two are no. gloating over what they did to poor Psycho Simpson. Now, she's got his doll. Well, Captain, I don't know. Oh, she ripped the arm off and threw it down. Morty is mad. She is ripping mad because that poor little doll got the arm ripped out of the socket. I just don't believe that. How, what cruelty. Well, what? that's terrible because look at poor Psycho Simpson. He can't believe it. He's in distra He's in distraught. Look at this. His poor doll, his love of his life, his buddy, his room partner there in the psycho Trump ward. Right now his just... family member. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Poor thing. He could be. And there's Marty Delore trying to console him. You know, Marty Delore has a Christmas wrap some kind of dress on. Look, look what she's wearing. Don't make fun of her wearing attire. That's ridiculous. That's beautiful. That's the 90s look. Right know? now, uh, Cyber One, oh no, he's fine. Uh, Captain, I've never had this happen in any wrestling match. Well, but he's very, you know, he's an honest person and the medicine, I think, look came out of, the, out of the... Look at him. as though he's crying, Captain. Well, his feelings are hurt. He's back in that pen, locked up. You know, Psycho Simpson has so much potential to go further, but because of his, because of his handicap, that and that doll that will prevent him from no going anywhere. I can promise you that. that.